Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles Savanson. Welcome, you guys, to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show. We cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment, and we give you guys a fresh perspective on things and always see. Let me just go ahead and get into this topic here. But before we even get into it, please make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel and hit all notifications to be notified the second we publish our content. Let me get into this topic here. This is a topic that I just want to briefly touch on because it was something that annoyed me. So what happened? Uh, I came across a show today on uh, YouTube from the the odd couple and essentially um, let me let me pull this up here it had the headline uh, Chris Broussard missing the playoffs would be would be Kevin Durant's second greatest failure so I click on the video to hear what Chris Broussard and Rob Parker had to say uh, and essentially um, what they were talking about was the ramifications of Kevin Durant and the Phoenix Suns potentially missing the playoffs this year. If you look at the the Western Conference standings right now, the Phoenix Suns are the number seven seed, right? So I don't know what really prompted this show, but anyway, they were talking about it. They were basically saying what it would mean to Kevin Durant's legacy if he were to miss the playoffs. Uh, but before we even get into what they had to say, uh, this video is brought to you by our sponsor, Prize Picks. Prize picks is really simple. Instead of just selecting a team, you just select two or more players, pick more or less their projected stats, and then you place your entry. For example, this week, I'm selecting two entries, Stephen Curry for more than 25 points, and then I got Anthony Davis for more than two blocks, and Damian Lillard for more for more than four three-pointers made. Prize picks is also the only daily sports platform with an injury insurance policy. So for example, if you have a player who gets injured in the first half and doesn't return to the second half, that player gets automatically rebooted. What I also love about Price Picks is that it offers weekly promotions like Taco Tuesdays. Each Tuesday, Price Picks discounts select player projections up to 25% to provide even more value. So go to pricepicks.com slash CLNS and use code CLNS for a first deposit match of up to $100. That's go to pricepick.com slash CLNS, use code CLNS for a first deposit match to, of up to $100. And once again, once you support this sponsor, you're supporting this channel. Thank you. So what we want to do is want to play exactly what Chris Broussard and Rob Parker had to say about Kevin Durant and what his legacy would be if he would have missed the playoffs and then want to come back uh, and continue on the show. Take a listen to them here. Here's what Wendy wrote about KD and the Suns at large. Wendy? Okay. Wendy. <laughs> Wendy. Everyone knows it's Wendy. <laughs> there you go. There you go, Chris. It's Wimby. All, All right. right. Wendy. <laughs> yes. So here's what he said. The loaded Suns are fighting to avoid a play-in bid. There are other factors involved, all that under achievement, of course, but it's unfortunately been defining this stretch of his career. The playoffs will decide what sort of year this has been for the Suns. Durant is a two-time finals MVP, two-time champion, regular season MVP, one of the greatest scorers in NBA history, and one of the greatest Olympians in USA basketball history. He also forced his way to the Suns last season and was a factor in getting Beal to join him and Devin Booker. Evaluating Durant's career is nuanced and complex. His greatness has been mixed with his lack of team success since leaving Golden State. Winning again would mean so much for him. I'll say this, Rob. Winning, and thank you, Rob G. Winning a championship, and I don't think they will. I don't think they'll get close. Uh, would be huge for Kevin Durant. Huge. And he's already going to go down. Obviously, he's the first ballot Hall of Famer. He's one of the greatest scorers ever. Most people have him in the top 20-ish range of all-time great NBA players. But, Rob, if he won a championship this year, even with a team that initially we thought was stacked, would be huge for Kevin Durant. As much as he's already accomplished, this would be incredible. And, Rob, like we say, LeBron's ring in Cleveland is his biggest, most impressive this would be the greatest ring for Kevin Durant. That said, I also think he's got, I'll put it this way. Just like it'd be a huge accomplishment, if he misses the playoffs, and I mean they get in the play-in and lose before make you know reaching the final eight. So they lose the play-in. If they don't get to the final eight, in the playoffs, 
Rob, I think this is the second greatest failure of Kevin Durant's career. I think the greatest was when he was in Oklahoma City, 2016. They're up 3-1 on the 73-win Golden State Warriors in the Western Conference Finals, and they lost. He and Russell Westbrook dropped the ball, and they lost that series. Uh, I think that was the greatest failure of his career from a team standpoint. I think this would be the second greatest of his career. Not if they don't, you know, get to the second round. I'm talking about if they don't make even the final eight, so basically make the playoffs. Um, To not make the playoffs would be ridiculous. So you heard what they had to say. Listen, this is what I don't like about the media sometimes. I've noticed that these guys pick and choose. Uh, who they want to go at and who they want to talk about their legacy is being impacted and blah, 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 blah. My issue, here's my issue. Have great players missed the playoffs? Yes, they have. Great players have missed the playoffs. Kobe has missed the playoffs. LeBron has missed the playoffs. Uh, other players have missed the playoffs. But whenever it comes to Kevin Durant, there's always a question about his legacy. Same thing with the going to the Golden State Warriors. Some people view that as a weak move. Fantastic. But the, it'll be the same people that say they view that as a weak move, but they don't view the Miami Heat being formed together as a weak move. Even something that Jeff Teague, who was a player in the NBA at the time, they said, y'all was weak for that. Like, they try to say, oh, no, it was a different thing. You don't really understand it. You're not really understanding it because the Heat were a bad team. They had the same, it was the same end result. One super team was created and another was super, uh, super team was created. That Heat team went on to win like 26 games in a row that uh, the first year together. So they were both super teams. But when it came to, oh, we're going to, it doesn't really mean that. It doesn't really do this. Oh, it doesn't really mean that. But in the case of Kevin Durant, oh, all of a sudden, this would be his greatest, uh, one of his greatest failures. Why didn't I hear that about the 2021 Lakers? Because they're talking about it would be one of Kevin Durant's greatest failures looking at his roster and the players that he had. So why wouldn't that be the consideration of the Los Angeles Lakers in 2021? Let me give you guys the Los Angeles Lakers uh, 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 roster that year. In 2021, they had Carmelo Anthony. They had Trevor Reza, who was who was, who was was injured, uh, and, and, and he didn't play. You had Kent Bazemore, Avery Bradley, uh, Anthony Davis. You had LeBron James. You had Dwight Howard. You had Austin Reeves, you had Rajon Rondo, and you had Russell Westbrook. That team won 33 games. They didn't even make it into the plan. Why did not I hear anybody talking about this would be one of the biggest not hits on LeBron James' legacy of all time? Why? But when KD, for example, who, um, if he would have missed the playoffs, all of a sudden, this is like, wh wh why do we do this? Why do we pick and choose? And this is how, like, why do we want to pick and choose who narratives get created about? Like, it's, yeah, I think it's unfair because they're picking and choosing. Okay, this guy's going to have a negative career and this guy's going to have a, and they have the same thing. And if Katie would have missed the playoffs, it still wouldn't be, it was, still would not have been as worse as that team that's in the playoffs. Or if you want to cut it down the middle, let's say it's equally as bad. But that's what these guys do, man. And, 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 and it gets exhausting uh, listening to this over and over and over. So these are my thoughts. Whatever you guys think, leave your thoughts in the comments and we catch you on the next show. Peace.